interesting. You know, you were saying, Matt, that he often deflected, but he did defend Donald Trump on one key issue, and it's been the issue that's topped the news for the last week, the taxes, where he, he came out and he said that Donald Trump did use the tax code the way it was supposed to and that he used the tax code brilliantly. It's the same word that we've heard from Donald Trump in the last 24 hours, uh, and it sounds an awful lot like what you heard from the circuits about him being a genius. He, he was forced into that... And in fact, if he was trying to poke and needle uh, Mike Pence at the risk of not looking likable himself, he ultimately got there in the end. I would argue when they were talking about abortion and, and the comments that uh, Mr. Trump at one point had said women should be punished if abortion becomes illegal. Uh, and that's when you heard Mike Pence say, well, listen, he's not a polished politician. And that is really blowing up. A, big up con on, a on real big media. concession right there. So, how does this all change the race? We have a lot more analysis ahead. We'll be right back. Donald Trump watches this, and we know that he watched all, all 90 minutes. What pointers, what does he learn from this debate going into Sunday? Listen, I think you have to look at this, especially if you're in the Trump campaign and saying this was a victory for Mike Pence, in, in, certainly in one way, which was he was able to turn almost all of his answers, particularly early on, back to Hillary Clinton, which was something that Donald Trump struggled with during that first debate, particularly when she started talking about his business affairs and, and his taxes. He started talking about himself instead of turning it back on Hillary Clinton. Pence was able to do that uh, tonight. Uh, you also saw, though, right in the beginning, Tim Kaine knowing that uh, honest and trustworthy was that key issue. Right out of the gate, he talked about in his opening statement about how he trusts her to be commander in chief. His own son is in the military. We've heard that from him before. We suspected he would bring that up tonight, but right in the opening statement. Uh, but Mike Pence made that argument over and over again that they have weakened our country, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. 